Hello again. This is Sujit from Logman Energy. I'll be quick with this introduction as I'm down with COVID. I made this video since the slides were ready and I thought that's a good use of time while in COVID isolation. And especially because this video may help car buyers sitting on the fence whether to buy an EV or a conventional gas, petrol or diesel car. And that's important because climate change is real. Europe lost more people to heat stroke than ever before, while their rivers ran dry, impacting both transportation and power generation. Pakistan, a country in the tropics, found one third of its land submerged in water as the nearby Himalayan ice melted more than ever before in its multi millennial history. Its premier blamed the whole world for this catastrophe. He's got a point. Climate action and decarbonization needs global effort. And what we are witnessing globally may only be the beginning. Now, in my previous videos, I had discussed the basics of energy storage, blockchains, and a fascinating story of electric vehicles. Continuing on the video series on electric vehicles, I'll talk about how electric vehicles or EVs today compared to the gas, petrol, or diesel cars. Electric vehicles are expected to change the energy consumption pattern of a planet more significantly than any other form of power consuming device, perhaps. And as more and more electric vehicles flood the major markets around the globe, the two important questions in any potential EV buyer's mind are, is it yet the right time to buy an electric car? And will I be able to recoup my investment if I buy an electric car right now? In this video, we shall have a quick overview with regards to EV versus gas petrol comparison in the next few minutes. And then deep dive into the topic in the subsequent videos. In case you're not a millionaire or a billionaire who's plus to look cool, you definitely need to know whether the electric car that you're going to buy will save you money or not. I'm not going to tell you whether it is better or not. Instead, I'm going to tell you how to compare any electric car with any internal combustion engine based car, that's petrol, gas or diesel car. So let's jump right into the simple calculation, which for some reason is not so common out there on the internet. Now you may treat this calculation as a tool to make the EV versus non EV comparison every time you or a friend of yours is faced with the EV dilemma. Jumping right into it, you need to know first of all the average fuel consumption of your conventional gas or petrol car and the average electricity consumption of the electric vehicle that you intend to buy or are just curious about. Out there, we're going to compare two very popular cars from both the camps in the US as well as India. That is the second and the fourth largest automobile markets in the world. Meanwhile, please note that this information pertaining to the fuel or electricity consumption are very easily available and in fact by law need to be made available to you by the manufacturer in both the US as well as India. Making this piece of information more reliable is the fact that it's always validated by autonomous public entities set up by respective governments. In the US market, I'm going to compare the newly launched Ford electric SUV, the Mark E, to one of the most popular conventional SUVs, the Chevy Blazer from GM. We understand that the fuel consumption of Chevy Blazer is 27 miles per gallon. Meanwhile, we have assumed $3.8 per gallon as the cost of the gas, which was the average cost of gas in suburban Michigan in September 2022. That is when the segment was recorded. Now gas, short for gasoline or petrol, as it is known in other parts of the world, had hit $5.4 per gallon sometime back in June. But we are still going ahead with $3.8 per gallon for this calculation. And at this price, cost of driving a Chevy Blazer for one mile works out to be $0.14 or 14 cents. Now, I'm doing this calculation for highways. It will be slightly different when you consider driving in the city as average comes down from 27 to 18 miles per gallon 
and the cost per mile would be 0.211 dollar or 21 cents and came back the numbers for highway here for an apple to apple comparison with an EV or electric vehicle let's compare the same for marquee from ford marquee delivers 2.49 miles for every kilowatt hour of electricity once again i'm considering the average cost of electricity in michigan us in september 2022 which is 0.18 dollar per kilowatt hour at this price it would cost you just 0 0.072 or 7.2 cents to drive a marquee for one mile technically that's just 51 percent or half the cost of driving the blazer alternatively that's a saving of 6.8 cents every mile that you drive a marquee instead of blazer now here's the tricky part the electricity charges will only be applicable if you get a home charger and charge your Mark E at residential electricity rates. If you charge your EV, however, at a commercial charging point, that will be hell lot expensive. These home chargers would cost you around six thousand dollars, and if you have a home with a garage where you can safely install an EV charger, home charging is the best way to make the most out of a forty-five thousand dollar clean energy vehicle and avoid the TED miles. What's TED miles? We shall discuss that as we deep dive into this topic in a later video. Now, I have done some further number crunching to tell you that the cost of driving a gas-powered blazer can only equal that of a marquee if the cost of gas drops to $1.95 per gallon. Now, that's a number that you probably saw during the pandemic. But do you really want to pray for another pandemic to make your gas car as economical as your EV? I definitely not hope so. Alternatively, the tain shall meet if the cost of electricity somewhat doubles to 35 cents a kilowatt hour. For the US market, I'm also going to compare the Chevy Blazer with the rock star of both the SUV world as well as EV tribe, the Model Y from Tesla. As the Chevy numbers remain same, we alter the details for Model Y. Model Y delivers a solid 3.85 miles for every kilowatt hour of electricity. The cost of electricity assumes same at 0.18 dollar per kilowatt hour. It would cost you 0 0.047 dollars or 4.7 cents to drive a Model Y from Tesla for a mile. Now that's a whopping 31 percent, or just one third of the cost of driving the Blazer wherein you're saving 9.4 cents every mile that you drive a Model Y instead of Blazer. But then, before you get enamored by these numbers, do you realize the fact that Model Y is a lot more expensive than both Blazer and Marquee, and I made this comparison just to give you a hang of how efficient and superior are those Teslas as compared to anything else that drives on the road. To do a similar set of calculations for India, I have picked the electric SUV from Tata Motors, the Nexon EV, and compared it with Mahindra XUV 500 from the petrol camp. The units and term that I'll use here are different, kilometers instead of miles and liters instead of gallon, to gel with international MKS standards that are used in India. Now let's start with arguably the most popular SUV in India, the XUV 500. We learn that the fuel consumption of XUV is 15.1 kilometers per liter of petrol. Considering the average cost of diesel in Delhi in September 2022 being 89.62 rupees per liter, it would cost you 5.94 rupees to drive the XUV for one kilometer. Now, we're going to compare XUV to Nexon EV from Tata, a very comparable car in price, performance, and appeal to XUV 500. The average electricity consumption of Nexon EV is 9 kilometers per kilowatt hour of electricity. Considering the average cost of electricity in Delhi today being 7.5 rupees per kilowatt hour, it would cost you just 0.83 rupees or 83 paise to drive an Exxon EV for one mile in India. What we are witnessing here is that the cost of driving one of the most popular EVs in India is just 14% or less than one sixth of the cost of driving a comparable fossil fuel powered car. Once again, alternatively, 
that's a saving of 5.1 rupees every mile that you drive a Nexon EV instead of XUV. And when would it be as economical to drive the XUV as the Nexon EV? Well, it would be if the cost of diesel would ever go down to 12.58 rupees. In this case, not even the pandemic can bring down you any closer to realizing the break even. Alternatively, the numbers may match if the cost of electricity somehow rises close to six times to 53.42 rupees a kilowatt hour. Once again, a non feasible number by all means. Conclusively, it is cheaper to drive an EV as compared to your gas, petrol, or diesel car almost anywhere in the world. It's a lot cheaper in places such as India where fossil fuel subsidies are all gone and thus fueling an internal combustion engine car is way more expensive. However, this is just a very basic comparison as there are more intricacies to a gas or petrol car versus electric vehicle comparison. We need to consider other costs such as dead miles. That is the distance you need to drive to charge your EV if you don't have a home charger. Maintenance costs that you incur on a regular basis and so on and so forth. I will delve deeper into these in a later video in this very series. However, in order to better understand these intricacies, we would first need to have a look at the various components that make up an electric car. I should be doing just that in the next video of this EV series and then deep dive further in the following video to arrive at the true cost of owning and using an EV versus a conventional car. So, stay tuned.